Hello everyone! The third video is behind us and it's time to start getting to grips with the component library in Akitech ALP. Let's start with the simpler elements, namely the functions. I will try to explain them in more detail. First, you can find them in the library box under the functions or FX section, depending on the size of the panel you have set. I usually disable grouping of elements by folders and use the full list right away, but today let's turn on this grouping. All functions are divided into several sections, let's go through them in order. Logical operators are necessary for logical calculations, which is quite logical. For working with boolean data we have 4 blocks available, AND, OR, NOT and XOR. To understand them and how they work, it's easiest to use something like truth tables. To indicate the state of a block's input or output, I will use not the words true or false, but on or off. The end block output will be on when and only when both its inputs are on. The or block output will be on when at least one of its inputs is on, or when both are on simultaneously. The XOR block output will be on when and only when one of its input is on, but not both at the same time. NOT block is used to invert the signal, or in other words to flip it to the opposite. That is, if the input is on, the output is off, and vice versa. These blocks are used for processing discrete PLC inputs and forming some command on the output or for processing intermediate logical variables and forming some command for further execution. For example, output 1 of the programmable relay should be on when the first and second inputs are on, or when the third input is on and the fourth is off. This is what the condition will look like in the program. Mathematical operators are necessary for operations with numbers. At the same time, functions without the f prefix work with whole numbers, integer, and functions with the f prefix are necessary for operations with the real numbers, float. You have the familiar four school actions available to you, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. At the same time, for the correct operation of subtraction and division, the order of connected inputs is important. But for addition and multiplication, the order of the inputs connected doesn't matter. Blocks are divided into two groups according to data types, for integers and real numbers, respectively. The result on the output of the block by data type will be the same as its input data. That is, when dividing an integer by an integer, we get integers too. For example, 10 divided by 9 is 1, and 10 divided by 7 is also 1. There is a separate function for finding the residue of division called mod. As a bonus for real numbers, there are two operations, raising a number to a power and absolute value of a number. Mathematical operators are used very widely. For example, for processing the values of a PLC analog input, for signal normalization, for finding the value of a setting according to a weather dependent schedule, for forming an output signal to an analog PLC output, for controlling various mechanisms and much much more. As an example, I will insert the formula for linear interpolation in the video. This is what it will look like in the visual block diagram language of Akitech ALP. Relational operators, like mathematical operators, are divided into two groups according to the data type they work with, but their output is always boolean. It shows whether the comparison is being made or not. For integers, two blocks are available a check for equality, equal, and a block greater than. If desired, from these blocks you can assemble other blocks, such as inequality, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and strictly less than. For real numbers, only the block greater than is available. Inverting its result, you get the block less than. There is simply no check for equality for real numbers, because it is not entirely correct. 
Real numbers are almost never equal to any whole value. This is due to the specialness of their implementation in computing technology and the binary selection. The last block from this group will dedicate a separate video to it. I think it deserves it, because there are quite a few applications with it and not all of them are obvious. Don't forget to follow the release of new videos and join our social networks. Links will be in the description under the video and our video has come to an end. See you and all the best.